keep in mind, Jennifer, that the more C customers we keep on our client list, the more that's taxing our existing resources. And sometimes I find that by replacing, you know, an especially noisy C customer, uh, we may be able to take on one or more A or B clients uh, for the same technical debt. What I mean is the resources that we have to serve those clients. This realization comes from maturity, right? Growing your business, understanding, uh, you know, what drives true growth and true profitability. If you're not spending uh, time firefighting and reacting to these C customers, you have a lot more time uh, to build stronger, more strategic relationships with these A and B clients. And that's, you know, one of the other challenges is the C customers kind of rob you of the time that you should be spending with these A and B clients. And again, there's a morale uh, impact that happens when you start executing on this strategy. Your staff is going to like it. They're going to say, wow, finally, I'm glad. Thank you. And having direct conversation with the staff that says, look, from now on, we're only taking these type of clients on and folks that don't meet this, we're going to find a way to exit. That's going to have a tremendous morale boost and improvement. And you couple that with some succession planning and strategy, and you couple that with bringing in more profits so that you can compensate your technicians better, you're going to keep them a lot longer and you'll be able to stave off uh, some other offers of folks that want to poach them out of your company, or at least give you a way to, you know, negotiate something to try to keep them. Mm -hmm.